Hello everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the second episode of Isekai wa Smartphone to Tomone. Now, continuing with the trend, today's trend, I'll just get right into this. As usual, there will be no footage or audio used in the reaction for copyright reasons. There is a timer in the upper left hand corner and subs below me to help you follow along. With that being said, let's begin in 3, 2, 1, play. Looks like he's doing a recap for me. Just sleeping. Yeah, no worries, I'm an over overpowered protagonist. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Mega slime. That does sound more fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the best part. Seriously, are you going to rob us of that amazing potential scene? Indeed. Why not? Really? I guess he doesn't have that adventurous spirit that they do. That's where the plot is, I assume. <laughs> My trusty smartphone. Can't be in a fantasy world without that. It's interesting that the first girl we were introduced to was basically a set of twins, so we kind of got two for the price of one on that one. I can't wait for her to be introduced. I don't think I said this in the first episode, but the twins do kind of remind me of uh, Kyo and Ryo, I think their names were, from Clannad, the twins. But yeah, we obviously have quite a few girls left to be introduced to. Yeah, she even has a fancy umbrella and everything. <laughs> I just love how out of place that smartphone looks among the fantasy gear. First Journey and Samurai. Ah, so we're getting her this episode. That's fine. I kind of like her too. Character design wise. I obviously don't know anything about her. Ah, uh, this scene. This kind of scene. Goes out of... Of course she speaks that way. Nice. <laughs> of course she's hungry. Just like Mega Man. I'm going to end up conferring this at Konosuba a lot, I just know it. Dude, you're blocking the panty shot. Who are you and why are you dragging me away? I do like her already. I 
obviously. I'm from out of town, out of country, out of dimension. <laughs> Gotta get your story straight, bro. <laughs> and now you're hungry. The quickest way to a girl's heart is through her stomach. Just make sure she doesn't eat you out of house and home. And my girls tend to do that. That is quite a feast they got going on there. Uh, yeah, coincidence. Although those kind of coincidences aren't really surprising in anime. You just learn to accept them after a while. <laughs> I love the sounds for eating sounds. Yeah, I was warning you, dude. Convenient. Someone's a failure. Booster. You can probably use them all. True enough. <laughs> Uh. Man, he was going for something out of that skirt. Okay, that's just pointless. That sounds useful. Hmm. Pulling a sword towards you sounds a little bit, you know, risky for our first attempt. You don't want to poke an eye out, or a heart out. Did he take your panties? Did he pull a Kazuma? <laughs> True enough. Only one way to only one way to find out. Still <laughs> Yeah, put the ribbon back. That would also be useful.
What else would you use it for? Damn. So clearly something happened somewhere. That's about all we know. Her trusty gauntlets. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I guess that works. Yeah, there's still them to deal with. Sneak attack. Enough. You should take him out. I mean, he's clearly a bad guy. You can tell by the fact that his face is hidden by a dark cloak. Did they capture him that easily? And someone else is clearly in trouble. I mean, I just met this man, so I can't feel that bad for him, but it does always suck when anyone dies. Especially since she clearly likes him. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about him using it that way. Yep, he saved the day. She's cute. I like her little outfit. <laughs> yeah, he's clearly not part of this world. Is he finally getting it? Basically. Sushi. <laughs> she really is cute.
We'll see about that. I'm sure they will. <laughs> that fang. I wonder how often he plays games in that thing. Looks pretty good. It does look a little like the Earth Kingdom from Avatar, the color scheme. <laughs> you can never have enough maids. This is common knowledge. So he calls her Sue as well. He's got a nice mustache. Maybe, but it's probably not that simple since you mentioned that. I wonder if our protagonist will be able to do anything about that. <laughs> Unless you have a certain smartphone. <laughs> they all smile at unison. Is really going to be that easy? Looks like it worked. And he was the first thing she saw. Yeah, I had a feeling he'd be able to as well. It's the kind of show this is. I mean, Toya is pretty much the greatest thing these people could ever hope for between all that he's done for him. <laughs> the little treasure chest.
Heavy. I assume that's a lot. <laughs> Math time. Especially concerned how much a certain girl eats. I was kind of hoping she'd go with them, but I guess not. We already got one new girl this, this episode. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, she didn't mean it that way. Hey, more the merrier. You have plenty of money now to feed them. It's also nice to have cute girls join your party. And the episode's over. So this episode was pretty much having the samurai girl join their party and helping out a girl who's part of a noble family. And they were compensated very well for it. There's obviously a few more girls to join over the series. I mean, it's a decent series. I mean, you could call it generic, and I wouldn't tell you you were wrong, but... You know, as long as it's enjoyable enough, which it is so far. And that's it. So yeah, let me know what you thought of the anime. Put out my reaction in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.